A lot of you mentioned that you wanted to see a tutorial on how to use these strawberry sponge curlers. So um, go ahead and check out my Asian Beauty products video if you haven't seen it because there are a lot of fun stuff in there. But um, yeah, these are completely made out of sponge. There's no plastic in there whatsoever so they're great to sleep in. And, and also I want to mention that part of the video got erased. I don't know how, but it got erased. So um, just so that you know, I have my hair section also. There's like a third of it, a third of it down like this. And also it's best to wash your hair at night and just let air dry or blow dry it um, and keep it about 5% damp, just a little damp is fine because you don't want it too wet or else it'll stay still um, stay wet till the morning and it's just gonna your curls are just gonna fall out. And also I recommend that you use some kind of um, hair serum or um, like calming cream or something so that the sponges wouldn't suck all the oil out of your hair. And um, I saw another video this lady she put um, these paper, I think the, the ones that you use for perms at the salon at the ends, so just to protect them. So um, this is something to keep in mind. So let's get started. So my bottom portion I usually like to split into two sections and as you can see it's a pretty big chunk of hair. I love doing this because number one, it's so easy. Number two, um, you really don't want that many socks when you're sleeping. It can get a little too much. And third, it'll give you much more natural looking curls than you were to split your sections into like really small ones. But it's really up to you. And also like if you have really fine hair, you might want to do that to give yourself a little bit more volume. So taking a sock about this length, position your hair around the heel area. And also control the size of your curls by using thicker or thinner socks. So I like to leave about a little bit of the tips out just because it looks more natural. I think some people were asking about that and it, you know once again it's up to you whether you want to leave the tips out or not but I like it when it's um, not completely curled at the end and I'm going to stop right about here. That way it's just going to be a little bit of the curls on the ends instead of um, all the way up to here. Now I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. And also when you tie it, don't do it way too tight. Unless you sleep like a merry-go-around, then you might want to secure it more. I've taken down the elastic, I'm going to section it off again. And this time I'm going to take the hair it's around my face and the top of my head. So this portion right here, I'm also splitting it into two sections. And this time they're even bigger chunks, but I like it like that. And I'm gonna curl them with socks once again. So we're down to our last section of hair and this is the portion where I actually use the strawberry sponge curlers, but it's really up to you whether if you wanna purchase extra packs so that they can go all the way around your head if you have a lot of hair but I only have six of these so that's why I do this. Oh and also I forgot about this. Um, I usually spritz my hair with just a bit of water to dampen it. I didn't do it for the, the, my bottom portion but I think it should turn out okay. I usually split the side of my hair into two sections and then the other side where there's more hair into three sections. Slightly twist this around and this way it will prevent the sponges to um, kind of like catch your hair and get it all tangled up. And also you don't want to curl it like how I did the socks, like a little bit this way and then roll it up. You want to start curling from the very end, like this, because um, it will actually tangle up your hair too if you start midway. And I think one of you guys had mentioned that on the comment section for my last video. So just keep rolling up and once in a while you have to kind of pull these out because they can you know like get stuck underneath your hair. So just keep working your way up. I usually go a little bit higher than where I want to because um, my hair kind of like falls out a little bit and then it'll stay at a certain place. So 
See that? It just kind of like falls out a little bit. So roll a little bit higher than where you want it to be and then it'll stay right beneath it, if that makes sense. And just kind of give it a squeeze like that to close it off. Just continue that technique throughout the rest of the hair. Once again, twist a little bit, go all the way down, and then curl. This section right here, it's, um, you know, the section that's going to be kind of like on top of your head. I like to curl it this way, so that way there's a little bit more volume up, up on top after you take out the curls in the morning. But, you know, like really, it depends on however you want your curls to go, and that's how you should curl your hair. Yeah, basically. I usually just leave my bangs out like this and then I take this portion and I think I can just do it in one curler today because like um, I think it'll be enough all right so this is the last one and just give it a squeeze and you're done one last look around I know crazy girl but doesn't matter I'm just gonna go to sleep with my cats anyways oh and uh, this top portion right here I tied it with an elastic just to make sure that it doesn't fall out because it tends to do that um, right here. And I'm gonna go to sleep. Well, I'm gonna go wash my face first, but um, I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, so I slept for a good seven hours, and uh, luckily none of the curlers had really fallen out. But this one kind of drooped a little bit. You can see that. So next time I might just um, you know hold them all together with a an elastic but let's see how they turn out. I'm just gonna go ahead and take all of them out and instead of pulling the curlers I would recommend that you take your hair and you do this so it doesn't get torn. So there's that one. And I usually my habit is just to take the curlers from the top of my head before I get to the other parts. Let's take out the sock. Okay, so this is the sock curl right here, and then this is the strawberry sponge curl. I just had this in my head last night to get my bangs out of the way. So this is really good for that too. And as you can see, my hair is still a little bit poofy. So I usually spritz just a tiny bit of water. And this really helps to tone it down just a little bit. But you don't want to do too much of it or else your hair is going to go completely flat. I've done that several times. So just a little bit. And you just get your fingers in there, break up the curls. I usually don't even use hairspray <clears throat> when I curl my hair overnight like this. All I do is I use a little bit of hair serum and this one's got thermal protection but it doesn't really matter. It's the one by John Frieda that I used in my last tutorial. And I just take a little bit and evenly distribute it um, throughout the ends of my hair like that. kind of smooth out my bangs. I like to kind of fluff this part just a little bit so there is um, more volume up here. Okay guys, here is the final look. And I think it spritz just a little bit too much water in the back right here and on the side, but I think it's fine. You know, I tend to like this kind of natural look anyways. And don't worry if it's um, a bit poofy in the morning because it'll eventually get more tame and natural looking throughout the day. So, hope you guys enjoyed this and um, decided on whether you want to get these or not so yeah and oh also in my next video what do you guys want to see first because a lot of you guys have requested that I do a diet tips video and also a um, skincare routine video so just let me know in the comment section which one you guys want to see first and um, thanks you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you, you want to say bye? Say so I'm gonna go to sleep now.